Okay, this is the third econometrics lecture uh, since spring break. We left off with interactions in multiple regression. So the last two lectures uh, introduced the concept of multiple regressors. So we went from a single regressor model to a multiple regressor model, a model with at least two x variables or two right-hand side variables. <coughs> we did that because we wanted to address uh, omitted variable bias. We want to take things out of the error term, the u term, and regression, and put them into the um, into the right-hand side of the equation, so they're no longer in the error term and no no longer uh, could be correlated with our our included regressors, in violating violating assumption number one from ordinary least squares. Um, so we introduced the idea of interactions between two x variables last time. Let's just, let's just write an example of that. So we had a model, if we have a model yi, which has variables x1, i, plus x2, i, this is our, without the error term, this is our uh, two regressor model, our multiple regressor model. A multiple regression model could also be called multivariate regression multivariate just being multivariables okay so when we add an interaction we would interact these two regressors we multiply them by each other and we do that manually in R or in Excel or in whatever statistical program we're doing. We, we manually multiply those variables together. And in your homework, homework four, I ask you to do this uh, in a data set and I give you code in the R script for doing that. It's really simple. Um, you just tell R you wanna create a new variable and you make that variable equal to the, the interaction uh, of two variables or multiply two variables together. I show you how to do that. And then you can just include that in your, <coughs> that new variable in your regression line in R. Okay, so today let's look at some in examples of interactions. Um, you know, actually, if we, uh, if you come to office hours on discussion, on Canvas, that's Monday and Wednesday, uh, 2 to 3.30. Um, if you're having trouble in R, I can now share my screen with you. And I could even do this as a lecture. I can share my screen with you. And I can show you how to um, run some regressions in R if that's something people uh, think would be useful. So let me know if that sounds useful. Um, and I can start playing around in R uh, showing you how to run regressions, how to add multiple regressors, how to interpret the coefficients, etc. cetera. Uh, so feel free to let me know, come to office hours, either uh, tell me in the office hours or just send me an, a note over Canvas uh, and we can, I can think about how to set that up. All right, so some examples of interactions. Lecture note six, uh, page eight, examples of interactions. Suppose you wanna find out if earnings or income or, or however you want to think about earnings depends on experience and education. Okay, we could do that. If we, if we set in the model that I just wrote down, we set x1 <coughs> equal to um, experience. We set x2 equal to education. So let's say this is experience and this is education. Oops. That's education, so say, should say edu education. Um, we could have a, uh, a regression model where we're just controlling for one or the other. So if we forgot beta 3 with the interaction, that would just be uh, regressing earnings, yi would be earnings. earnings and regress on experience and education. 
earnings uh, could be wage as well. We'll write this out as wage in a moment. Um, so we could we could leave out beta three in the interaction, and that would just be the effect of experience on edu on earnings. Uh, controlling for education and vice versa, the expected education on earnings controlling for experience. So when we write, let me write that out just to be clear. We have a model. Let's have a model that's just, I swear I figured this out. I apologize. Okay, so suppose we estimate this model. Wages, wages, let me do it like this. Wages as a function of experience and education. Suppose that's our model. I'm going to leave off the eyes for now because it's easier to write this quickly. This model would be the effect of experience controlling for education or vice versa, the, expect, the effect of education controlling for experience. There we go. The effect of experience on wages controlling for education. Or we could say it uh, the other way, the effect of education on wages controlling for experience. But we're interested in the model with the interaction. We want to know if the effect uh, of either of those variables differs or depends on the level of the other variable. So the effect of education depend, we want to know if the effect of education depends on the level of experience or the effect of experience depends on the level of education. So we're going to write a model that looks like this. Wage equals beta zero plus beta one. Oh boy. Beta one experience plus beta 2 education plus beta 3 times uh, experience times education. Okay, so this is our model with an interaction. Uh, so this is going to allow us to tell whether or not the effect of either of the variables depends on the level of the other variable. Now let's suppose we estimate this and we get the following output. So this is the equation here, number one. Equation number one is our population equation. Equation number two, this is going to be our sample regression. Wage equals 10. 10. Plus 1.3 times um, education, turns out I have education first in the notes, plus 3.2 times experience, plus 0 0.6 times education times experience. Okay, that's our sample regression. So now we can use this to figure out some marginal effects. What's the marginal effect of an additional of additional experience for a person with two years of education and a person of with 10 years of education. So let's look at this. All right, so what? how do we figure out marginal effects? Marginal effects are the derivative, derivative of wages with respect to, which, what are we taking the derivative with respect to? So the question is, what is the marginal effect of an additional year of experience? So we're taking the derivative with respect to experience. What's the marginal effect of this, or the derivative of this with respect to experience? So we're going to take the derivative of the population or the sample regression with respect to experience. <clears throat> that gives us beta 2. I guess I should take this hat off, actually. We're doing the population regression. Beta 2 plus 
beta 3 times uh, education equals 2. Okay, so we said, what is the marginal effect of an additional year of experience for a person with two years of education? That's why I said education equal to two. And a person with 10 years of education. Let's focus on two years of education first. So let's plug in our, our sample values. Beta 2 is equal to 3.2. I have this backwards up here. I should write this so that it's more clear. Beta 1 is uh, going to be education, and beta 2 is experience. That's less confusing. Now these derivatives make sense. 3.2 plus 0 0.6 times 2. OK. So uh, what do we get here? We get $4.04 .04 per hour. So wages are dollars per hour. The marginal effect of an additional year of, an ex of experience um, with two years of education is going to increase your wages by $4.04 .04 an hour, according to this regression. What about for a person with 10 years of education. We can do the same thing and plug in education equals two. So for a person with 10 years education, we get D wage, D experience equals beta two plus beta 3 times education equals 10. And then we'll get with our sample regression, 3.2 plus 0 0.6 times 10 equals $9.20 per hour. OK. So an additional year of experience. So now we can see why having this interaction term helps us. If we think that the effect of education, or in this case, the effect of experience on wages depends on the level of education, education, this interaction term is helping us get at that. So for a person with two years of education, our regression says that it, an additional year of experience increases wages by only $4.40 per hour, 40 cents per hour. For a person with 10 years of education, though, they're going to do better. An additional year of experience is going to increase their wages by $9.20 per hour. So more than twice as much. So that education is really paying off for this person uh, getting more experience. All right, let's answer one more question as an example. What is the marginal effect, ME, of... An additional year of education for a person with 15 years of experience. What's the marginal effect of an additional year of education for a person with 15 years of experience? Okay, how do we figure this out? Well, first, let's figure out what the marginal effect of education is. The marginal effect of education is going to be D wage over D education. What does that give us? Let's look at our equation here. D wage over D education. The variables that are left over are beta 1 and beta 3 times experience. Why is that? Well, beta 0 is not multiplied by education, so it's going to drop out. Beta 2 does not have an education in it, so it's going to drop out. We think of it as a constant. And beta 3 has education in it. <clears throat> so it's going to, the derivative of that is going to be <clears throat> beta 3 times experience, whatever we're considering as a constant. OK, so what do we get? We get beta 1 plus beta 3 times experience 
I write that, that makes sense. Experience uh, equals, what did we say? 15 years of education. All right, and then plug in our sample values, 1.3. Let's look at our regression equation. Our sample values, 1.3 and 0 0.6. 1.3 for beta 1 plus 0 0.6 times 15 equals $10.30 per hour. should say per hour. Okay, so we figured it out. What's the marginal effect of an additional year of education for a person with 15 years of experience? Turns out it's ten dollars and thirty cents per hour. So one more year of experience, or one more year of education, if you have fifteen years of experience already, is going to increase your wages a lot. I made these numbers up, so we we shouldn't necessarily believe them. Um, but uh, the point is that the effect of education on wages and the effect of experience on wages depends on the level of each of the other variables because of that interaction term in the model. Okay, now I'm going to give you, let's pretend we're in class. I'm going to give you some in-class uh, work. So the question we are going to ask is, does does hours spent on social media depend on age, gender, or education. So we're going to estimate a model that can answer this question. Does hours spent on social media day uh, per day depend on age, gender, and education? And does the effect of education depend on being male versus female? And does the effect of education depend on gender? And do the effects of education or age depend on each other? Do the effects of education or age depend on each other? Do the effects of education or age depend on each other? Okay, let's write down a model that can test this. So first thing you should do is you should pause this video and see if you can write down a model yourself that's going to test these questions. So let's define a variable hours y i equals hours. Hours is going to be hours spent on social media per day for any individual i. I'm going to leave off the i's just to make it easier. Um, so y i is going to be hours. Um, now try to figure out how you can write down, and you can define age um, and gender or male however you want. Education we might write as e d u c like I have above. Right, try to write down a model that says do, does the hour spent on social media per day, why, depend on age, gender, education? And then add in, does the effect of education depend on gender? And do the effects of education or age depend on each other? So I would recommend pausing this video and trying to do that yourself. All right, suppose you paused it. And now let's, let's write it down. See if you got what I get. So let's put y is hours on the left hand side. Now we're going to have that as a function of age, male. So male is going to be a dummy variable equal to one if you're male and zero otherwise. Three is education. Okay, so this answers the first part. Okay, does hours spent on social media depend on age, gender, or education? So now I have 
Ours is a function of age, gender, which is male, education. <coughs> so let me define male here. Male equals one if male, it's a dummy variable, zero if otherwise. Okay, now we have to add in the other points here. Point, well, I don't have numbers, but then the points I just circled in red. Does the effect of education depend on being male versus female? Okay, well, when I ask you a question like that, I'm really looking for an interaction term. So let's add an interaction between male and education. So this interaction is going to allow us to test whether the effect of uh, education depends on gender and vice versa. Does the effect of gender depend on education? Um, now let's add the last one. Does the effect of education or age depend on each other? Or do the effects of education or age depend on each other? You should think now to yourself, okay, when I ask you a question like that, interaction. So let's add the interaction. Interaction of education and age. Okay, so that's our model. We should add an error term, um, but it's gonna fa fall off the end of the screen there. All right, suppose we estimate this model and we get the following output. So this, what we wrote down was our population regression now let's write down our sample. Let's do it in blue. Sample. All right. Hours hat equals 4 minus 0 0.08 times age minus 0 0.1 times male minus 0 0.02 times education minus 0 0.03 times our interaction of male and education, and then minus 0 0.0085 for our interaction between education and age. All right, hopefully you can see that. That's our sample regression. Ah, that's not a good in parentheses there. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you, just like we used to do when we were actually sitting in class, um, I'm gonna give you several questions I want you to answer with this sample regression. So question one, what, what is the marginal effect of an additional year, an additional year of age for people with five years of education versus 15 years of education. Okay, that's question number one. Question number two. Question number two. What is the marginal effect of an additional year of education for females with age equal to 18, question mark. What is the marginal effect of an additional year of education for females with age equal, equals 18? And then three. What 
what is the average number of hours spent on social media per day or dependent variable for females age 18 with 10, 10 years of education or 10 years of education. So what's the average number of hours spent on social media per day or dependent variable for females age 18 with 10 years of education? Okay, so I also recommend you stop this video right now and try to answer these questions for yourself. What's the marginal effect of an additional year of age for people with five years of education versus 15 years of education? What's the marginal effect of an additional year of education for females with age 18? And what is the average number of hours spent on social media per day for females age 18 with 10 years of education? These would be like our uh, in-class problems. All right, let's pretend you stopped the video. Now let's solve them. See if you got these right. Marginal effect of an additional year of age. How do we find that out? All right, let's look at our regression equation here. D hours, D, what are we doing? Age. It's going to be beta 1 plus, where does age show up here? Age shows up here. And it also shows up here. It also shows up in beta 5. Those are the two places age shows up. So the derivative of this function with respect to age is going to be beta 1 plus beta 5 times education. So that's why I told you in this question prompt that uh, we needed to know the age or the education of people. I told you um, a person with five years of education or 15 years of education. I didn't need to specify whether or not they're male um, or female. Uh, so let's answer this. All right, let's plug in the values. Beta 1, um, or how about uh, for education equals 5. Let's answer this. So beta 1, beta 1 is equal to 0, how about 4, education equal 5. Uh, beta 1 is equal to negative 0 0.08, then minus, um, minus 0 0.0085 times 5. So that's the beta 5 coefficient. This is equal to negative 0 0.1225. Okay, so for a person with uh, five years of education, uh, getting older by one year, an additional year of age, uh, decreases the hours spent on social media per day by 0.1225 hours. For education, for education equals 15. We can do the same calculation, negative 0 0.08 minus 0 0.0085 times 15, we get negative 0 0.2075. Okay, so a person with 15 years of education, if they get older by one year, they spend two, uh, 0.2075 hours less on social media per day. That's how we interpret this. Okay, what's the effect of what's the marginal effect of an additional year of education for females with age 18? Let's do this one in green. So now we have to take the derivative with respect to education. So let's look back at our function up here. Where does education show up? Here, beta 3. 
uh, it shows up here and it shows up here. So our derivative is going to be d hours d education equals oops I was doing pretty well there for a little while d education it's going to be beta 3 plus beta 4 and then we're dealing with females so there's going to be male equal to 0 plus an 18 year old beta 5 times age equals 18. Okay, let's plug in the values and find out what we get. Beta 3 is equal to negative 0 0.02 minus beta 4, 0 0.03 times 0, because male is equal to 0 in this case for females, minus 0 0.0085 times 18. This is equal to negative 0.173. Okay, so the interpretation of this is the one more year of education for females that are 18 years old reduces the amount of hours spent on social media per day by 0.173 hours. All right, what's the average number of hours spent on social media per day for females age 18 with 10 years of education? So this is just going to be, let's do, let's do rainbow on this one. This is the expected value of hours conditional on male equals zero, so we're dealing with females again. Age, what happened? Age equals 18 again, and education equals 10. Okay. So now we need all of the, the coefficients. We need all of the information. Expected value is gonna be let me write it down. Well, I'll write it over here. You can write it like this. Beta 0 plus beta 1 times age equals. That is not how you spell age. Age equals 18 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 times 10 for 10 years of education plus beta 4 times male equals 0. I should have put male equals 0 times beta 2 plus, we're going to need some more information here, plus beta 5 times age equals 18 times education equals 10. And so what do we actually get when we plug in these values? Maybe it's the rainbow that's making my screen not work anymore. Kind of doubt it. Okay, let's plug in the value for beta 0. Beta 0 is equal to 4. So I'm just, I'm just going to plug in the values from our sample regression here. This thing here. Plug in the values for each of those coefficients. So if you forget what those are, you can just reverse the video or write this down and, and figure out what those are. So 4 minus 0 0.08 times 18 minus 0 0.1 times 0, because male is equal to 0, minus 0 0.02 times 10, minus 0 0.03 times 0, because male again is equal to 0, minus 0 0.0085 times 18 times 10. 
And this actually equals 0 0.83. Okay, so this says, <clears throat> let's put hours per day, <clears throat> our units. So now we've figured it out. You should uh, hopefully have done this yourself. Um, prior to uh, me doing it for you. Um, and you can see if you got the answers right or where you went wrong. This says the average number of hours spent on social media for females, 18 year old females with 10 years of education is 0 .3, 0 0.83 hours per day. All right, we have a few more minutes. Let's do interpretation of the coefficients from for your homework so this is directly related to your homework now Let's see if i can get some room over here okay so on your homework i ask you to draw a graph based on the regression that you estimated. So multiple regression, so it's a little complicated. Um, so here's how you're going to do it. Suppose you estimated a regression of wages on education in a dummy for male versus female, and you get the following output. So we have wages as a function of <clears throat> education and a dummy for female. So in this case, our, our female dummy is equal to one if female, so it's the opposite of a male dummy, and zero if zero otherwise. All right, suppose that's your regression output. You have a, a regression with wages as a function of education and a female dummy. Now I ask you to draw the relate, a graph of the relationship between wages and education for males and females. All right, so here's your, here's your task. You might try this at home before I do it for you. So draw, draw a graph of the of the relationship I did it again of the relationship between wages and education for males and females. So you can answer this, oh, wow, that's really bad handwriting. You can answer this based on the lecture notes I gave in the previous set of lectures, or you can just follow along with what I'm doing here as a specific example. So in, in your homework, you're actually gonna be drawing this relationship in a, a regression with more variables, but you only need to consider the ones um, that affect the, the intercept. Uh, so uh, in this case, female is a dummy variable, so it's affecting the intercept. It's an intercept shifter. If it were interacted with education, then it would be a slope shifter as well. All right, let's draw this relationship. Okay, we have two lines. We have education on the x-axis and wages on the y-axis. So the, the graph we want to get is a graph of the relationship between wages and education. So of course, wages is going to go on the, the y-axis and education is going to go on the x-axis. Okay. So we know that um, our intercept here 
intercept is beta 0. Our intercept in red there, beta 0 is 10. So where is our intercept going to be? Well, when female is equal to 0, when female is equal to 0, this, let me, let me write it in blue. When female is equal to 0, this portion goes away. The portion I just gave you there in blue. Whoops, undo that. When female is equal to 0, that portion goes away, so our intercept is just beta 0. So when, when female is equal to 0, uh, our intercept is beta 0, that right there. So when female is equal to 0, we'll talk, we're talking about males. So this is the regression line for males. This is um, beta hat 0. Uh, let's put beta hat, beta hat 0. Um, plus 3 times education. So there's a slope. The slope comes from the marginal effect of education. The intercept comes from uh, female being equal to 0. Okay, so what about for uh, when female is equal to 1? Do that in green. When female is equal to 1, uh, this part, that part, turns on. So if female is equal to 1, we have to decrease the intercept by beta 3. So if this is beta, or sorry, beta 2, beta 2 hat. If this is beta 2 hat, we're going to we're going to subtract off beta 2 hat from beta 0 hat to get our new intercept. That's our new intercept. So this is the line for females. We still have, well, the function of the line is now beta 0 minus beta hat 2. It's actually going to be plus beta hat 2. Reason, well, it's plus beta hat 2, but beta hat 2 is negative, so we are subtracting, it's a it's subtracting a value. It's shifting the line downwards. So that's going to be our, our new intercept plus 3 times education. So the slope does not change slope 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 stays the same for each uh, for each line thanks to the ruler function on this I can make the slopes the same uh, what changes is the intercept now of course if you go back to the, the previous set of lecture notes um, if we have an interaction we can make the slope change depending on female and edu uh, female versus male um, but for this case, when we don't have an interaction, the female male is only going to shift the intercept. It's just controlling for this female dummy. Not, we're not actually letting the, the marginal effect of education depend on female versus male. Okay, so that's going to finish it up for, for today. Um, I will continue on with uh, how to calculate the, the elasticities in your... Uh, in your homework for the next lecture and some measures of fit. Hopefully this was, uh, hopefully I'm getting better at this whiteboard thing, the electronic whiteboard. Um, still getting used to it to some extent. Uh, if anybody has a suggestion on how to turn off the zooming feature um, when I'm using a pen, that would be really useful. I've been Googling it, but can't find anything. All right, talk to you in a couple days.